Well, hey, folks, this is Fat Guy Flyers RC. Big shout out to Hobby Zone for sending me out the 80 millimeter integral um, sport jet. We're going to go ahead with the assembly now, just the basic assembly, and then I'll do a third video for the complete radio setup. Uh, just to let you know, this is, like I said, just the basic assembly. I actually will not be hooking up any control surfaces because I include that with the radio setup because you want to get you want to power up the radio power up the plane get all your servos centered electronically and then attach all your control services so, so that's why i like to include that in the radio setup just to let you know but we're going to go ahead and put the basic plane together you saw my unboxing video the first thing you're going to want to do number one i want to do is right back here at the tail you have your three uh rudder both your rudders and your elevator or both your elevators and your rudder uh, tape down. Go ahead and take that little piece of tape off of there. Okay. So you get those things free. Don't pull too much on them because you don't want to pull them out. You don't want to pull them out of the uh, front fuselage here. That tape is like the world's strongest tape. Okay. All right. You're going to want to, going to, want to grab a 1.5, I think it was a one, yeah, 1 1.5 uh, millimeter hex drive screw or screwdriver. All of your your screws are all the same size, which makes things super, super easy. Now, I've already installed my receiver, but it's not bound up or anything. Um, I'll be using an AR630 uh, Antillus receiver that does have safe and AS3X right there already mounted. That's an anticipation, just to show where I put that. I'll grab these three, th these three items, and you're going to want to grab your elevator first. So you're going to grab your horizontal stabilizer. This one here. Move this chair out of the way. Okay. You got your two leads that are labeled elevator. And you're going to want to hook these up. So you got these locking pigtails. You can see the little, um, little pins on either side. When you hook in your elevator lead, you're going to hook up your polarity light to light, dark to dark, but you want to hear that lock in. You're going to actually, if you don't hear it, you're going to feel it. So make sure you line up your polarity, light to light, dark to dark, and that's always any servo connection, and it has a definite click-in feel. Okay, I'm going to hook in the other one. Had to turn them at a little bit of an angle to fish them in there. Light to low, oh, I had that backwards. Make sure you check it before you click it in. It has a definite click-in feel. Okay, so now I can take the elevator. Make sure you pull up your rudder lead. Get it up out of the way. If you need to, you can kind of grab your leads a little bit. Pull them through so they're coming through here. Just don't want to pull, through, pull your rudder out of the way. Want your, want your, uh, to sit down. Let me get you angled in to where you can see better what I'm doing. Okay. This chair. All right. But you're going to want to kind of, if you look, you got these leads kind of laying there. You kind of. Just kind of pull on the wires a little bit. Make sure you don't grab a hold of the. Um, there's the rudder. So this other one down here should be my elevator leads. There, see. Pull, those get pulled down in there. And out of the way. Sometimes you want that other one's not coming. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather have them bunched up down here than get pinched. So just find them in the fuselage. Just be careful, don't get, don't get in a big hurry. Okay. Just get them out of the way. All right. 
Now you're going to take your screws and you've got one, two, three. Okay, go ahead and put in your very tail one here. So right back here. Look at, keep an eye on that seam right there. Well, not if my fingers are in there. Well, I guess it didn't. Yeah, that's that's definitely in there. Support it with the bottom of your hand if you can. One thing you might want to do is see these, these plastic double. When you start seeing that dent in a little bit, then you know you're definitely tight enough. All right. Same thing up here. But this thing looks like a. It really does look very organic, very unique in its shape. <clears throat> Come on. some bite now. You want to make it too tight. Because you got to remember heat and time expand, foam, it will expand a little bit and tighten it. Let's lock that in there. Now you're going to grab your horizontal stable or your vertical stabilizer labeled rudder on that rudder lead we were talking about and, uh, and like I said you're going to hook these things up you see the, the light side of the wire on top there the light yellow and then on top of this top part here the light you're going to line light to light dark to dark and that's always your polarity and I know I will say that in my videos a hundred times, but it's so important. I have the depth of click in. I want to find that rudder. Kept it in the way. Okay, there it is. We'll pull that tight through here. That way that is up and out of the way. I'm going to set this very well designed rudder right on in there. And I know that you know, nothing is pinched. And a model that fits together tightly is a happy model. It's a good, well thought out model. Put it up right here in the front. It's in there. Back here. On this side. This side. That is in there. That really does look like a shark. All right, let's back up just a little bit. All right, turn our attention to the wing. Take your canopy. All right, let's turn it all over. Turn it around. All right. Now, you're going to need your wing spar. that on through. Grab one wing. This has a quick connect so there's no you don't have to worry about those pesky servo leads. Slide that in. Like I say that does fit very tight. Okay, I'm gonna get in front of you here. Grab our other wing. Slide that on the wing spar. To show you where this is connecting at, see that uh, quick connect right there? Okay, and that's where that end, that part of the wing right there, 
That's what's cooking in there. Okay. Sift that in there nice. Looks like you're going to end up with one extra screw after all is said and done. Now this is the thing about hooking up wings. What I like to do is I like to hook up this back wing here. Okay? Make sure it's in there good. And then that way, if this one's not lined up, I can use it as a pivot point. Or kind of push the wing this way a little bit. And I can push it in there. But I think we're lined up really well. It may not be an issue. Sometimes the screw doesn't need to get bite. Yep, see? Said that. Sometimes you just have to fiddle with it. I'll put my body in the center of the wing here. I'm going to push in using that. I don't like to push on the tip though. Boy, that's wanting to fight me. That is wanting to fight me. Well, in that case, let's take this one back out and do just the same thing but the opposite. See if I can push this in again. And use it as the pivot. Probably be a better choice. Okay. Kind of push against the model here. I mean, however way you can do it, I mean, it's just not. This is the one to kind of get in front of here, kind of wedge it. I don't know if I've got foam or what is. Okay, let me hold them all against the table. Maybe pull with my left leg arm here. Boy, there it goes. You'll know it when it catches. in there. Put that other screw. Alright. Now, shouldn't have any problem with this one. Of course, I say that. Yeah, it went right in. Alright, that wing, that wing's on there. Alright, I'm going to grab it to be my friend on this one. Okay, let's back up the camera just a little bit. Now I should have done, I should have done this on the first wing, put it like this and press down on this way. Okay. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense doing it this way. And by the way, I'm working on working with my banana hobby plane sandwich. I love these things. Far superior to the FMS. No, no, no uh, offense to FMS, but <laughs> this thing's all. And they're 64.50 a banana hobby. These are these things. They come fully assembled. Take them out of the box. Go there. Start working. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, that's that sucker's in there. All right. Put your canopy on. Latch that right in there. Put that right there. And there's Sharky. <laughs> 
that may be what I'm going to be naming. I'm going to name it. Yeah, I'm going to name it Shirky. Cause I'm sorry, but it does look like a shark. Very organic looking. Very um, almost or, almost like a space alien. What was that one episode in Star Trek Voyager? More towards the end. When they kind of teamed up with the Borgs and Species 646, what, this kind of, whatever it was, this, this reminds me of that for some of those ships. But, uh, not to you know, not show my Star Trek nerdness. But there you go, that's the basic build or assembly of the 80 millimeter Integral. Uh, I think that's how you say it, Integral. Yeah, that's, phonetically, that's what I think it would sound. Um, you've got a cheater here. Nav light there, nav light here, and a nav light here. And I hear that this is like very, very bright. We shall see momentarily. I have installed an AR630 in there, but I've already got it in there, and that's what I'll be running it with, unless it doesn't pass the range test, and I'll get something else. Um, and I, but for right now, that's what I'm going to use. And I like those receivers. And uh, there you go. That's the basic build of the. I'll pick it up again. Of the FMS Integral 80 millimeter Sport Jet, brought to me by Hobby Zone. Thank you, Hobby Zone. I uh, hope to get a good maiden for you very, very soon. God bless y'all. Don't forget, stay family and friends. And then Sharky. Bye bye.